Discovering your main weapon in Monster Hunter is like obtaining your Persona in the Persona series. When you have tried out each weapon, you discover a side of yourself that you never knew about. You will have to be honest with yourself. It does not matter if it is the hardest weapon to use in the game, if it is complicated, or even if it is not recommended for beginners. If it feels right playing it, then that is the weapon for you. This will give you the power to take on the challenges of the Monster Hunter world. This series is dedicated to exploring the poetry behind the playstyle. What does it feel like to use this weapon? What makes each weapon special? What makes fans of the weapon fiercely loyal to their favorite weapon? For this episode, the focus is on the sticks. Do you like guns on a stick? How about heads on a stick? Or maybe you like making your own monster kebab? Whatever you like, these weapons are direct to the point. Hammer is just like booping your friend on the nose. And by friend I mean fire breathing wyvern. And by booping I mean breaking their skull. Nothing is quite as satisfying as breaking the face of a monster with a hammer. Hammer is described to have the simplest moveset which perfectly complements its simple purpose. You have a hammer, it has a head, you can't get any more direct than that. As far as the hammer hunter is concerned, the monster is just a walking head. Where other weapons have to think twice about engaging a monster with thick armor, the hammer thrives with its simple solution. Hit it harder. However, there is a beauty to the hammer's simplicity. A perfectly timed upswing to their jaw knocks them out, looks painful, and feels good. As with every weapon, experience builds an understanding of the weapon's nuance, and hammer hunters find that the weapon has a complex simplicity. There is a certain zen to the hammer. Hammer hunters are singular in their purpose. Knock out the monster. Knock out the monster. All else fades as the hammer hunter looks for the right opening to bring the pain. It might be an easy weapon to pick up, but bringing out the full potential of the weapon takes practice. The hammer hits hard and slams fast. It does more damage than expected. Having more mobility than the greatsword is definitely an advantage, but also gives you that mischievous feeling as you sashay towards a monster who has no idea how much of a wallop you are packing. But monsters aren't the only ones who have to be wary of the hammer hunter's saucy attitude. The golf swing can turn allies into heavily armored projectiles launched at the monster. This might earn animosity with allies, but if they can land an aerial hit and score a mount, it will almost look like you planned it. With simple strikes and pure purpose, hammer hunters know what they do best and are exceedingly enthusiastic about it. The lance is the harbinger of the monster's inevitable doom. Their giant shield is without equal, as fireballs and roars do little but delay your march towards the monster. Lancers are the valiant knight charging into the enemy. They are the center of the battle. But the lance is no mere static shield. Deflecting and countering attacks are advanced tactics that rewards quick reflexes, as these denials are thrilling to land. The lance is also deceptively mobile and evasive. Advancing and repositioning is no issue to them. What it lacks in offense variety, it makes up for with mobility. In any given situation, the lancer is exactly where they want to be. When all these tactics are used in unison, it is like bullfighting on a grander scale. The stalwart guard lancer can turn a ferocious, rampaging monster into a stupid beast bashing its head against the wall. The tricky Evade Lancer will nullify the offense of a monster with a simple and smug backhop and will close in for the kill like a wolf that has smelt blood. Lance might have a very simple offense, but combining the pokes with the hops, guards, and counters can turn the fight into a rhythm game, one where the hunter dances around the monster and never relents in their offense. Hop hop, poke poke, hop hop, guard poke. It is a waltz of war that makes the lancer intimately familiar with the attack range and reach of the monster. In time, nothing surprises the lancer as powerful attacks are just sidestep while they continue stabbing. 
In the right hands, a lancer can turn the tide of a losing fight. However, the fun comes when the lancer gets cocky and starts making risky maneuvers. The lance can get away with some outrageous stunts. Charging off ledges and countering elemental attacks make for some pretty epic moments. Strong, steady, swift, systematic, and swaggering, lancers show that no matter how strong the wind blows, the mountains will never bow down to it. Gunlands can be summarized in one word. EXPLOSIONS! <laughs> Who needs tactics, precision, or style when you have explosions? Not to mention, you are using a cannon that is fused with a lance. Just the very concept of the weapon is cool. It is like you are a character out of a steampunk or science fiction story. Lance might be the immovable object, but gun lancers are the walking tanks. The combos are varied and flexible. There are standard combos for good opportunity windows. Pokes can be used to squeeze in as much damage as you can, and shells just add variety to any combo. Air shell, slam, full burst, gun lances attacks are short and sweet meaning you will never be stuck in a long animation which could leave you vulnerable to the monster. Just don't overextend yourself, especially with wyvern fire. The gun lance also has a surprising amount of precision and control. Attacks have very defined trajectories and shells give you a little bit of a range boost in case your hits fall short. This pinpoint accuracy coupled with explosions make the gun lance an excellent part breaker. On top of all this, the Gunlance has some really cool animations. You can practically hear the guitar solo in the background. However, there is no denying that the Gunlance is one of the more immobile weapons. Gunlancers can't chase a monster around, they have to rely on the monster to go to them. It is perfect then that the Gunlance has immaculate defense. They have all the tools, dodging, blocking, even stopping a monster with explosions, but this does require some situational awareness. The Gunlance needs a bit of patience to use and master, but that patience is rewarded with more explosions! Thanks for watching. If you missed the previous video, you can catch it over here. The other weapons will be uploaded soon, so consider subscribing. Until our paths cross again, see you, Ace Lancer.